good morning you guys happy friday today is i want to say the 24th july 24th 2020 um it's friday morning i think it's like six or seven o'clock i've been up since like three or four couldn't really sleep and then my son got up and decided to play with all his toys so loudly <laughs> so i've been up but anyhow this is gonna be a quick video i wanted to show you guys some stuff that I've added to the site, but I haven't maybe quite showed it yet, and then give you an update. The first update I'll give you, which is super important, I have a clear foil with black like designer um, prints or brands on it. The expected ship date that I think I put on this site is like 7, 25, or 26. It's a pre-order item. It is on there. Um, I had a complication with one vendor getting it like super quick because I ordered that a while ago. So that stuff's on the way, um, but I also ordered some through my backup vendor. I have several different vendors and suppliers. So I have like, we're almost sold out of that one even though it's not here yet, but um, it'll be here either Monday the 27th, I think that's the 27th, or that Wednesday, which would be the 29th. So sit tight. What I have done though, even though my website said I would not do it, for pre-order items since I am a little behind the date that it was although it's not my fault and in my control with what happened um I decided to ship everyone's orders out with the remaining like the stuff that was in your order just so you're not waiting um a whole bunch for that or whatever so just a one time just you know here you go um you know so I will be paying double shipping basically but um I'll ship all of you guys' stuff as soon as it comes so I would say between Monday and Thursday um, that it should be here of next week. So sorry about that, but just a little bit of logistics and stuff. Um, an issue with one of my suppliers um, and the service that she was using. So I don't know, my backup person came through. But like, interesting enough, after I ended up canceling the order with one of like a different order with the supplier who was taking a long time, um, my stuff started like magically moving because if you've ever got a shipping confirmation and it just says label printed but it doesn't move there's no information um sometimes it either hasn't been scanned in the system or it hasn't been picked up in my scenario i feel like it was never picked up and she was making excuses i don't know though that's between her and god but um I, she had had my stuff for quite a while like i think i told you guys about the rose dust brushes that were coming and a bunch of other stuff it's still sitting you know, well, it's moving now, but I'm like, wait a minute, that was almost, that was like three, four weeks ago. Should have been here. You know, I usually get my stuff in a couple days. So, yeah, I had to have a little talk with her. And once I canceled one of the new orders I was going to place, suddenly the order started moving. So she had to refund me a bunch of money, but she had a lot of my money just sitting there, like worth of tons of product just sitting, you know, and uh, had to put a little pressure on her. Um, so yeah, that, that stuff is coming, but you will notice you got, you know, shipping confirmations for the rest of your stuff, just so you have something to work with. And then I will get your stuff out to you as soon as possible. Next up, I wanted to show you what's on the site. Um, I haven't posted these on Instagram or I don't think I have. These are butterfly foils. I cannot remember who asked me to add them. Somebody, I don't know if it was on Instagram or YouTube. Somebody was like, can you get butterfly foils? And I've seen some before. Um, I think it's like a darker blue and yellow, like brighter color butterflies. I think I've seen them on Amazon floating around. But I haven't seen these ones yet. But somebody had asked and I told them no or I wasn't planning on it. But then I'm like, you know what? Maybe. Let me see. Because I'm learning sometimes the things that I don't think are popular or that are going to hit are actually a hit with you guys. Like, I don't like those brown designer foils. I think I like them, but they're not my favorite. But they sell so fast, like I've sold thousands of them um, just because they're so popular. Um, and usually you find them and they're sold out everywhere um, when you do find them. And I'm sold out again, but there's more on the way. They'll probably be here by like Monday, Wednesday of next week. So the last week in July, I'll have them. Anyhow, look at this foil, you guys. Once again, you do get a nice amount. These are typically four by four centimeters by a hundred centimeters i hate unrolling those by the way but i want you guys to pay attention to how long these rolls are because one time um i think someone had thought we were just getting like the whole like a big roll like 
four rolls. These are a good amount of rolls though. Like, I mean, unless you're just using the same design on everyone all the time. <laughs> um, but even then, like you cut these and you can get a lot out of it. You don't have to use the whole thing and you can save the little pieces and maybe just do the tip of a nail with the foil design. You know, you don't have to do the whole nail or you don't have to do a whole set of nails either with it. So these are actually more cute than I thought. The picture, I don't think does it justice on the website. Maybe I'll have to take a picture later. But look at that. Butterflies are like in. They're popular right now. I'm pretty sure you've seen all the stickers, all the glitter. I do sell butterfly glitter on my site. It comes in a 12 like pack with different colors that averages out to $1 per uh, color. So it may seem like a lot, but it's really not. Um, so there's this. This is pretty. Um, and it's cool because butterflies, you can still use them like year round. You know, you can use them in spring and summer, but I would still probably use some of these. You could like, especially with like a matte nail. I think a matte nail would be really cool. Whatever. But you could do a lot of fun stuff with this. So, oh, this is words. This, ha oh, it has like, you're my kind of love, be mind, your love, love story. So this is kind of like, just for you. Okay. So this one has words on it. Um... That's cute. Nice if you had like a love theme or even in um, like a, what do you call that? Valentine's Day. Usually Valentine's Day everyone just does hearts and cupids. So, ooh, speaking of cupids, you guys know I, I uh, sell the foils um, for cupids. So that might be cool to stock up on those early. I can't believe how fast this year is going. This is beautiful too, you guys. I can't believe how fast this year is going though. So like, I was just thinking about it. I'm like, oh my God, I need fall nail art. You know, like I usually try to be three months ahead of time. So I might just go get the fall and uh, winter nail art now. Um, so you guys have it. Ooh, see, I like this. And with foils, these clear ones are so easy to use. Um, they're, to me, they are. Uh, and then you can cut, like, you can only use this part, you know, like, that's not going to fit on your whole finger anyways, but you do it long like that. That's really pretty. Yeah, these flowers and butterflies are cute. You know, you can just cut little sections, like, if you only wanted that butterfly or only stick the foil, like, right there, you know? Um, and you could do, like, those butterflies throughout the nail. You don't have to use the whole pattern. You can get creative with it. So, yeah. Um, all right. I hate rolling these. Um, let's look at this one. That's pretty. I could see like an ombre nail, like some sort of tie-dye ombre nail to kind of match that or some pastel nails. Um, that'd be super cute. Even a nude, just putting it over a nude might be fun. I was curious to see what this, oh, this is cute. I love this. That looks fun. So yeah, these look better than what the picture is showing. Um, I tried to snag a picture from another uh, site or person, but I don't think you could see it that well. So that's why you just subscribe to my channel so you can get, you know, the update and see what's up. Um, look at these. I think you could do some fun stuff with this. Cause it's not like the typical butterfly. Usually you just see the regular butterflies coming in. Um, let's see what this one is. You see that? Another fun one. So I just added this. Um, if you, I'm trying to categorize my stuff a little better, you guys. Like I said, I'm not the tech savvy person like that. But give me a moment. This is my first time owning an online store and I'm doing like everything whatever until I can get some help eventually one day so um but yeah I did start adding more categories where you can go to like nail art nail tools gel polish I'm gonna add a builder gel section but if you can't find anything the best thing to do is hit the search bar if you still can't find it but you know that it's on the website hit the catalog button catalog will show you everything that I have on my site so yeah all right this is the animal print foil so this is like a crackle effect. I love this. 
Wow. If you remember those crackle polishes, it kind of reminds me of that. Or you could probably achieve this look though with, um, if you get like those marble tints, I've worked with them before on my video. I wonder if you could do black polish and then get the gold metallic marble tint and uh, do that effect. But if you don't want to do all that or have that mess, sometimes you can use these. Okay, I didn't put that in there that well. This is the white one. I'm not going to bring it out. It's white and gold though. Ooh, look at this, you guys. I thought it was like an army print kind of thing, but no. It's like a snake pattern. I'm loving this blue. You could probably pair this with Blue My Mind um, polish on my site, that color. Or the color Chloe. Um, or even if you had Killing Me Softly, you could do an accent nail with this. You guys, I, my polishes are coming soon too. They told me they should be finished with filling them this week, hopefully. They said they could possibly ship them out this week. I haven't heard from them um, yet. So I don't know if they fell behind because middle of the week they said they were getting close to being done. So um, those are going to be the bottles, the new bottles, the square ones. All right, so there's this. You can see what this is. I don't want to pull that out. I love this. I'm looking forward to using that this fall um ooh. oh my god you guys whoa this is amazing i don't even know what to say this is it's like a coppery gold snake print and then like a i don't know if that's a silver or a brown I can't tell. It's not black though. At least as far as my eyes. It could be the reflection. It could be black. It doesn't look black to me though. I think it's brown because look at it. I'm comparing it to that. This is, oh my god. Um, there's this lady I follow. Um, I think Tashi. I've featured her on my channel like twice. She does press-ons. I would love, I don't know if she ordered, I don't know. I don't know if she ordered these or not. I saw her an order come in through her um, recently. <laughs> And I would love to see what she does with those. Or any of you guys do. But it's funny. I, I've seen her do some fun snake print stuff with the press-on nails. And they were super cute. I don't know if it was like the purple print snake skin one or what. But I do I do sell snake skin print foil. Um, if you guys need it. Um, so yeah. And that's an all occasion foil. Pretty much. This is all occasion too. You can do a lot of fun stuff with that. You use Dirty Diana. Um, I'm out of Dirty Diana polish, but like I said, I think it's coming with the new bottles. Um, but you guys bought that one out quick, <laughs> like I predicted. All right, these are the designer D Disney foils. Someone wanted a closer look. I think they were on Instagram though and said that. But, oh, let me turn it around. I should have went the correct way. All right, so this is a Gucci one. I'm not gonna been time and wrapping too much of that oh his hat look guys his hat has gucci on it i didn't notice that that's so cool i don't know what it says like bellissimo or i don't know bellissimo um this is another gucci one so it says gucci in between everything can you guys see that my camera's like going out of focus it says Gucci in small print, and then it has the logos right here. And then they're throughout the nail. And then it looks like Mickey's wearing it with dollar signs, like on his pants and stuff. Um, that's super cute. I can't wait to see, like, what the first person does with these. This is cute. Oh, his lipstick. That may kind of, uh, maybe kind of cool. You know how they have those lipstick shaped um, nails? Like the tips look like lipstick. That might be fun to make it more dramatic since it has lipstick on it. Um, those nails are kind of cool if they're done right. I wouldn't wear them, the lipstick like tip, but I think it's creative. I can appreciate creativity. So this is another Gucci foil. It has like butterflies on it, some roses and stuff very simple 
you know. I love this one. This is just the same. It's Mickey. He's just posing with Louis Vuitton. I would love to see someone do that. What is this one? This is Minnie Mouse. Cute. So, I don't know if this has any relation to designer or not. It just looks like Mickey or Peace Summer. I don't know what Peace Summer is or why it's crossed out. I'm not the designer. I'm not very fancy. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know if that means anything. All right. This one has a lot. It's like, it says Dior on it, but I see some Gucci in here. So it's like Gucci and Dior kind of thing. I don't know if there's anything else showing, but yeah, this one's like a fun graffiti now. I could see if someone did this um, and then had like a 3D flower nail with red, like a white nail with red petals. Um, that might be fun. This, I believe, is Burberry. This is super cute. I just love the pattern. I am trying to find a foil that has all Burberry on it. Because I just, I would love to do Burberry nails, but I don't, I can never find the perfect color for it. Like that cream color for it. Um, and then uh, the line work. Sometimes it either takes too long or I don't want to do it. So I would love, I'm looking for one. Or I was going to see if I can get a foil created. I don't know how much they would charge me for it. But, you know, if they would let me do some custom foils, that'd be dope. So, um, yeah. I don't know what this is, you guys. Oh, Chanel. It says Chanel on this little bag. If you can see it. So, this is kind of fun. has a lot on it. And then there's this one. So it has some characters. It says, I love my boyfriend. The little girl says that. Little girl. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, I got cut off. My alarm came on. This is a Fendi one. That's super cute. It's creative. Because usually Fendi, you just see it in its regular pattern form. So, like with the brown. So, yeah. I love foils because they're quick and easy. You can charge a lot for these, you guys. Like... Like I said, some of you complain or you've talked about, oh, I can get it cheaper here or there in China. Yeah, that's true, but it's also going to take forever. Um, I think I told you guys I had ordered some stuff off AliExpress back in April. I ordered it April 19th to be exact. I just got it this week on Tuesday. Tuesday was the 21st. Um, I just got my stuff from AliExpress. <laughs> it's no shade towards them because I definitely started there and I still will order there if I have the time to wait. But like I said, by the time some of you guys get your nail art that you ordered from there, we're going to be on to the next thing. Because you guys said that about the brown foil. And then I came through with the other designer foils for you guys. And then I've been adding all this crazy stuff. So you're going to get it quick. But what you can do is, like I said, charge more. Not for this, but um, well, it's up to you. But for your premium, call these premium foils. Like if you have something that's just a simple foil, you know how people like to do that little, they'll just take the foil and splat it on the nail in different spots or make it like a splotchy design you know that's simple foils um maybe you can charge i don't know a dollar a finger for something like that but these are two or three dollars a finger because they're premium you know and they're hard to get your, your hands on these because they sell out a lot so i don't know play with your prices i don't know what state you're in um you know what's what's an affordable or reasonable price for you guys to charge but it's just an idea that I'm throwing out there. Let people know that they're exclusive. They sell out. Well, first of all, you shouldn't have to argue with anyone about your prices anyway. So your price is your price. But if you want, you know, to tell them something, let them know they're exclusive. And they sell out very quick. And they can go to my website to verify that. Because usually you guys will see them and then they're out of stock again. So this is the Balenciaga. Um foil pretty straightforward this I don't know what this is I I'd, I'd probably like a I don't know where they were going with that it's it's I thought it was like a yellow supreme but on the site I do have it like that that's the picture I have so it's not like it came different than what I posted but I don't know maybe you guys could do something fun with that um this is like a Gucci design I wish I could customize my own foil thing like 
I would love to. I've been trying to talk them into it, but I don't know. I'm going to see if I can find someone who will let me, like, do my own. Because if I could get, like, all the Nike foils and all the Fendi foils and stuff and just do it, that would be cool. Um, this is Fendi, so I'm not going to take that out. It's a weird color of Fendi, though. It's different than my designer foil that I sell. I love this Gucci pattern. It's simple, but I don't know. I guess that, like, cheetah leopard print on there does something to me so I like it then there's this this is really pretty too these I don't know what brand this is I've seen it before I think it was in one of my other designer foil sets but yeah you'll find these under nail art you guys um later on I'd like to figure out how I could break down my menu more to where it says glitter and nail foil and you know just different stuff but you'll find these on there um I think this is called designer foil pattern three I have pattern one and pattern two that I've been selling for a while um but pattern three I just added the others are just look for them like Disney foil designer foil or like I said just go on the search and type in foil it'll pull up everything so I don't know what oh this is Burberry oh that's cool you know what I wonder okay yeah okay never mind let me shut up oh it's Burberry and Champion interesting has like a rose on it too so this is my first time looking at them I'd be so busy I never get to look at the stuff that I buy I see it when you guys see it and I'll usually just snatch mine out what I'll do is I'll load the inventory and only put like I'll put like a few less in um than what I have just so I take one for myself or if I want to do a giveaway or if I need to replace somebody's or anything um next step I'm super excited to show you guys these these are, um, I titled them art box display, um, or art box containers, I think. I don't know. They're on my site as, like, art box. Um, but I use them, and they open individually, like this. So all your fun nail art, like, all those little wheels that you guys get in, like, trays of stuff, even this fruit stuff. Well, I would keep this tray, but if you wanted to, like, put your fruit here instead... That might be cool, but, um, oh, let me show you. So this is my crystal one. You could like get a label maker or just your permanent marker and put like, you know, A, B, S, S, 5, S, S, 7, S, S, whatever. And you can have these lined up. And I would recommend getting a couple of these. I didn't order a whole lot in my initial order. So there's going to be a few just listed on there. I saw some people start buying them this morning, but, um, I think they're an excellent way to have everything in one place because I just like, I bought this bag a long time ago from somewhere. Like if I took the time to sort these out, this might be fun. So if you're really into organizing stuff, I think this is perfect for your nail art. Even like this, somebody sent me these, right? I don't have to, cause it, now I have this and it's open, right? Once I cut it. And so I can just put this in here. Um, what I used to use is, Hold on. Oh, shoot. I used to use this huge box. Um, what I don't like about it is that it gets foggy over time. So it's annoying. But it's nothing, you know, to be upset over. I mean, you could use this too. I think I got this at the container store here out in Bellevue, Washington. Um, it has larger ones. But this, like, has no secure opening. So, I mean, this one has stayed closed. I'll be honest. That This one has... But I've had some that have opened. So yeah, I think you guys would really love this. I think there's 28 spots. So this is how it opens. Hold on. Snaps open like that. And you pull these out. See, I used to always want to store my stuff in these. But um, I didn't like how they all opened together. I think my dad, like with his medication thing, he had one that said Monday through Friday. And um, they all, well, no, it wasn't the Monday through Friday one. I've seen these before though and they all open together and I didn't like that. But now you can just open one, pour your stuff out, you know, or pour it back in and you can close it. It's secured. Everything is here and like it just makes it easier if you're trying to look for your art because um, you can get a bunch of these. These aren't that big either. I mean they're big enough but they're not that big. Like this is my Roku remote. Do you see that? 
And when I compared it, this is as long as my Samsung Galaxy Note phone with the case. So if I put my phone, I'm recording with my phone right now, but if I put my phone here with the case, that's how long it is. Uh, I don't know if that's like six or seven inches by like four or so. But I mean, I poured um, a bulk, what is it? Swarovski crystal thing. Like I think these are my um, SS12s. Like a whole thing of those fit. I think it fit in here and here. It, it would be full of this and like half of this. Um, and then these are like the SS7s, like a bulk thing of that. It was a little bit fuller, but it'll fit. Like you could probably do two bulk things for the SS7. These are like the SS5s. You definitely can fit a bunch in here, but I think they're awesome. Like, you know, you can put everything back and keep it organized. You're not twisting open anything or closing stuff. And you can just see like in the top, like, Oh, okay, and it's good for inventory because then, you know, if you're looking, you'd be like, oh, like, instead of pulling out all your stuff individually, you can be like, okay, like, I have this much of this, I need to get some more of that. So, I'm not knocking the other storage things because you have to get what works for you. But if you're looking for something, I think it's an excellent way to start dumping out stuff. Like, putting it all here, getting a bunch of these, and you can have them stacked in your little drawer. I have the Alex drawers from Ikea. Um, that's what I use to stir my stuff like that's what my desk kind of is um but yeah you guys you could put your nail art here and it's all in one place you, you can have a crystal box and then you can have your nail art box like this was from those rectangle um like what my fruit ones come in it was like that and um I pulled them all in here just because I was tired of having all those trays I do like those trays though so I'll keep them for later if I need them but yeah, you can put all your stuff right here. These are so cute. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. They're like the jewelry that connects to two fingers. Well, it's tangled right now. Um, but yeah, I put everything in here. This is what I love because I'm not pulling out the huge cases. But yeah, you could hand these to your clients or have them on your desk and be like, here, this is what I have. What do you want? And they can just see it all lined up. Um... And they're small, like I said. Or if you're a traveling nail tech, they're perfect because you're, you know, you can lock them in. They're not moving. So, wanted to share that with you guys. You know, I'm always looking out for you guys, seeing what I can find to add to the site. Last but not least, um, stiletto art tips. I have these in clear and natural. Um, there's about 50 in each one, and you do get a ring for it. Um, I used to use it for swatching polish. Um, some people still do that, polish or acrylics. So you can still use it for that. Um, I'd probably use these for nail art at this point in my time. I don't swatch my polishes anymore. Um, I'm not even really doing nails like that for people anymore since COVID hit. I kind of left it alone. But it'd be fun to just practice stuff and display it, you know, you know, or you can do your swatches. Or if you own websites, you know, where you're selling like your acrylics, this might be cool to show people what it is. Um, or your foils. If you want to practice your foils, like laying your foils down on people, you can get your lift off gel off my site um, and, and lay your foil <laughs> there. So lots of fun stuff you can do with this. You could use them as swatch sticks. I'm not against that. Um, these are on my site though. You guys, I do have more foils coming. Um, I have this white and clear designer foil. It's loaded on the back end. I just haven't showed it to you guys. Um, I have this mermaid foil coming, like the fish scales kind of thing. Um, they're super cute and colorful. Um, I found another designer foil that I'll be adding. I feel like I'm missing something. Like I, I've just been ordering so much stuff that I don't know what I'll get <laughs> anymore. Um, oh, fruit is coming back in stock. But if I'm correct, it's going to come in like 12 containers, almost like the glitter I sell. I think it's going to come in 12 containers and there'll be some different kind of fruit pieces. So I'll probably replace the little tray that I have because I don't know if I'm going to, my vendor, um, for those has been, you know, she made me mad when she made my stuff late. So um, I'll use her more as a secondary backup than a primary, so, you know, until we can get it right. Also, these are the lashes that I sell you guys. I just wanted to show them to you. They are 25mm mink lashes. They are reusable up to 25 times if you care for them properly. I have them on site for an excellent price. 
Um, these are called Jazzy Bell. I do have another style I'll be adding soon. It's been sitting here for like the last two or three weeks and I haven't loaded it. But um, these are super cute. I've loaded some pictures on my Instagram maybe in the last month or so. And these are the ones that I've tagged that I'm wearing. They look like super fluffy, which is good if you love volume and stuff. But I promise you, sometimes I, I was hesitant about wearing the 25mm lashes because some people, it looked weird. Like they said, they look like broomsticks. That was like the joke and they look just ridiculous. I think if you're good with makeup and you know how to pull it off and um, you have like a full face. Sometimes even if you don't have a full face. Um, but I think it looks better with a full face. But if you do it and you know how to put your lashes on and place them properly, it looks beautiful. Because I don't believe in looking just super tacky. I love makeup and I love me some lashes. You know, and these are longer. But um, if you've seen the recent pictures, like if you go on my Instagram, you'll see like some pictures of me. And I have them on and they don't look ridiculous. And even in person, they don't look ridiculous. And they are comfortable to wear. Um, later on, maybe I'll get into some makeup tutorials. I'm looking for a backdrop that I could use um, to set up in my room and do some filming. But I just wanted to show it to you guys if you like this kind of stuff or you want to use it as a gift or, you know, for people. But yeah, like I said, there's going to be more coming on the website. I just wanted to run through this stuff with you guys so you can see what you're buying and get a closer look at things and, you know, have an idea of measurements. And like I said, when stuff says pre-order, um, be sure to look at, you know, I usually try to put in description box what the estimated dates are. Um, and those are just estimated dates. I try to update it, you know, if things change. But um yeah, look at that and make sure you're looking at the title that says it's a pre-order because I haven't had too many people bring it up, but I thought I saw some stuff where someone was wondering where their order was and it's a pre-order. So, and it does tell you that it'll ship together. But like I said, I made a one-time exception and just sent you guys the stuff so you have it and you're not worried or, you know, looking for it. Also, I totally forgot. I thought this was on my desk already. You guys, this is the colorful Louis Vuitton foil. Sorry, I'm all over the place. It's morning time. So you got your purple. Once again, I believe these are long. Yep. So yeah, they're going to be 4 by 100 centimeters. I believe that's what they told me, my company. There are companies that only sell 4 by 50 on AliExpress, so beware. Or other places when you're talking about it, I'd hate for you to wait like two or three months and then you find out it's only half the strip. So make sure you read that, whether you buy it from me or anywhere, read that. Um, this is like a hot pink color. It almost looks like the dipped in pretty pink, honestly. So if you have that dipped in pretty pink, you might like that foil. It's pretty similar. We got white, we got some lime green, we got blue. We got black. This is like a this is like a golden mustard yellow color. That's cute. Okay. Um, and then you got orange. It's like a neon. I think it's like a neon orange. Or is this like orange? Uh I don't know about neon. I think it looks neon altogether. It almost reminds me of my polish called Bonfire, or pretty close to it. That's super cute though. This, I thought it was a neon yellow, but it might be regular yellow. It looks more regular yellow to me, you guys. Together it looks neon. And this is like a red. Speaking of designer stuff, um, because I have an amazing supplier who gives me like you know, the heads up on everything new. Um, I found out that they're, you know, the, I sell these Gucci Chanel Louis Vuitton glitters. They're like little sequins that are cut out. Um, I just found out that there's new colors coming out. Some of them are like a neon and I think the others could be like a pastel or darker colors. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if they have like that glittery thing to them but they're like fun cutouts they're super cute i did order them for you guys so you can check them out i think you guys would like them like i love the neon that they had in there it looked neon um but yeah they're gonna be louis vuitton chanel and gucci um glitters 
I will probably add them as a drop down, like add them into where the current one is and then just show you both options and you can choose um, just so I'm not making several postings or listings. But yeah, you guys, oh, I'm excited too. My red iguana hand is coming on Monday, according to shipping. So I can start doing some fun stuff. Um, yeah, and just hopping back into things. But yeah, I hope you guys take care. Hope you have a long, beautiful, fun weekend. Um, it's a little gloomy here today. I'm getting ready to go take my morning walk, um, you know, and just get my day started, do some self-care stuff today. But you guys take care, stay safe, stay healthy. And I'm looking forward to seeing all the wonderful things you guys do with your nail stuff, your nail journey, whether you're a beginner, advanced, don't know what you're doing. I love seeing it. Keep tagging me on Instagram. Um, I love it. Or even if you're scared to post, you can always email me and I'm happy to, you know, look at it or talk to you guys or just see it, you know, and encourage you along the way. Alrighty, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.